All right, today we are going to talk about the briar leather, conditioning the briar leather. Uh, this is the 4522. Um, I have conditioned the 3440 um, um, with leather cream uh, previously. So uh, those are the blacksmiths um, that you can currently find on Red Wing uh, or in the Red Wing stores. Um, I conditioned those because I didn't want the color to change. Um, with the leather cream. Now, Red Wing on their site, they recommend uh, conditioning the briar with the boot oil. Um, I am going to use the all natural leather conditioner. Now, I just as like, um, as a trial, an experiment, uh, if you will, I was conditioning the engineer again so uh, this engineer now has uh, three coats of the all natural leather conditioner on there. Um, I wanted to do it to just help that leather soften and break in a bit. Um, and so as I put this on and I had these sitting drying, um, I looked over at the boots that I had that I was wearing and which were the 4585 uh, in Briar and I threw on uh, this all natural leather conditioner and I really love the way it looked. Um, I thought it, it did, if you notice, it did darken it a bit. So this is um, uh, how the briar looks. And then with that application of the all natural leather conditioner, you see how it did darken it a bit, but it just looks really rich. And so that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna put on the all natural leather conditioner on this. Um, just, doesn't that just look amazing? Look at that. So these were, uh, these actually kind of needed a condition. Uh, they. Uh, started to get a little uh, little dry and um, when you get a brand new boot you could probably condition it it's, it's fine to condition it right out of the box because uh, you, number one you don't know how long they've been sitting uh, number two the leather probably wasn't conditioned um, since it was cut possibly from um, the pieces so it doesn't hurt to, to throw on something, especially if you're gonna wear, wear them in the elements. Um, I will say this about the all natural leather conditioner. I put it on and then I sometimes um, let it, like to let it sit overnight before I do any buffing. Um, it can be a bit tacky, so uh, beware of that. So when uh, I wore these, for example, I wore these yesterday and I put on two coats. So I let it dry and then I put on another coat before I buffed anything. And um, then I put them on and then I do have dogs and then the hair, the dog hair started to stick a little bit, but I just, you know, you just take your brush and just give it the once over. Um, but uh, beware of that it will be tacky. Okay, so let us, these are cleaned already. I'm just gonna remove the laces on these and then, um, move the boot oil and the leather cream aside. So I know leather, um, Red Wing has been uh, really pushing the leather cream. If you've seen some of their um, social media on their website, they do these stories with uh, people who own um, a Red Wing boot. I've seen it with the 875s. I've seen it with the 8111s, someone applying um, the leather cream to there boots and it is honestly probably the safest if you really love the way your leather looks and you don't want it to change uh, it is the best way to go uh, actually let's read what, what is in leather cream does it say it definitely says it should not darken leather on on the the actual bottle um uh, needs needs foot oil blend that's what it's uh the ingredients on this one but um, for me, I don't mind if these uh, get a little bit darker. And these definitely needed something because, let's see, these were made when? These were made uh, March 2015. And uh, I know that the leather has not been conditioned at all. Uh, so that's uh, five years now. Uh, they are brand new. They were sitting, I've worn these maybe a handful of times, but they were sitting uh, in a box somewhere in, in a store um, so you know that, that if it's not in a dry, cool place, uh, that leather will start to change on you. 
so it, it, it won't hurt to throw something on there. And I have to say, I really, really like the way that briar looked with the uh, all natural leather conditioner. And I, I probably use that one the most. If if I showed you the inside of the um, mink oil tin that I have, and then this one, <clears throat> this, this one gets used quite a bit. I I need to get a new a new uh, a refill. All right, put that aside and let's put the leather cream aside since we're not gonna use that. And these, I've, if you remember, these are the 4522, which I've gone over and I think these are just the greatest boot ever because of the uh, enamel um, eyelets. There's no speed hooks. Uh, this is a leather lined boot and it's nitrile cork on there, so it's like, what, what else could you ask for? This, this boot is just absolutely perfect. Um, I have uh, several pairs. from. So this was the early blacksmith. So I, I ended up uh, getting several pairs. Um, one in uh, brown. Uh, this is the briar. And then I have the copper um, worksmith um, as well. So, okay. So look, so I, as you can see, I've been using this one quite a bit because um, I, I really like the way I like what it does the leather okay so uh, let it start by applying um, and as you all know that I do like to apply um, using my my hands because of the heat on my fingers I helps and you can just feel that you're actually getting the leather in everywhere and not on a cloth so look at that I'm sure that the uh, leather is happy to be finally conditioned and then when when you apply it um, on the briar especially the briar you can see the the texture of that leather really shine it's coming through really good so I probably will let these sit um, out overnight and then um, maybe uh, give them a check and I don't think I will do another layer I think this is this will be sufficient Yeah, that's looking pretty good. Just a little bit here. And on that welt there. Pretty much like the most important part where you're gonna be stepping in puddles. That leather would get uh, Right in there. Cool. <clears throat> All right, so let's look at the before and afters. So here's the unconditioned briar. And then this is the conditioned briar with the all natural leather conditioner. You see that difference? Look at that.
So it's gonna darken, guys, uh, as you can see. So if you don't mind it getting dark like that, then go ahead. If not, then stick with the um, the leather cream. And I did I did review, or I did show um, how the leather cream looks. I I believe I conditioned my 3340s um, on camera for you guys. But um, let's do the next. Move that one aside. Oh, I really like the way it, it actually kind of looks like the um, black cherry now. Slightly. But we'll see when it dries. Well, I mean, if you look at this one, this is the a dried. So it, it did lighten. Yeah, if you see, it did lighten um, once it dried, but wet, it looks like black cherry. This is what I really like about the the briar. It's why it's one of my favorites is the texture. Let me get a close up of that and see if it comes through. You know, the the lighting here is creating a lot of shine, but there it is. That texture there is what I really like. It just looks like an expensive leather. Um, yeah, I love that. That's my favorite thing about the briar. Let's put this thing back in focus. When I first um, came across it in the stores, uh, I think, no, it wasn't the first blacksmith, but I, I, I remember seeing it, eyeing it and thinking, um, this leather is pretty special. And then um, when, once I picked up the 30, 340s and wore them pretty much every day, I was like, it was a really good just everyday boot. And I thought, yeah, the briars, uh, the briars king. Very versatile. I know a lot of you guys ask. Um, and yesterday I was wearing the 3345s. Not all day. I was wearing my, the engineers. But when I came home, oh, man, I have to tell you, man, the engineers, they're the worst, man. So I was wearing the engineers um, pretty much from uh, more than eight hours. It was like I had like a 10-hour a 10 10 hour day. And I tell you, I was like, I need to get these off. When I get home, I'm taking these damn things off. They hurt. And then... Uh, I came home, took them off, and then um, later I had to walk the dogs. And so I put on the 3345s. Um, and I was just looking and looking down at them while I was walking the dogs. And uh, of course, it's much more comfortable than an engineer. And I thought, the blacksmith really is the best boot. Just all around, the best boot made by Red Wing. Versatile, comfortable, you could dress it up, you could dress it down. I was thinking, if I had to choose, honestly had to choose, and was like, okay, uh, I'm getting rid of you know, a bunch of boots. You can only keep a certain, uh, certain lot. The blacksmith would definitely be the ones that are staying. The only ones I don't have are the uh, copper rough and tough ones. I don't own those yet. I bought a pair for my dad and sent them out to him. Um, and I'm very curious how he, how's he, he's enjoying them and breaking them in. I'm going to have to have him send me a photo. But, um, yeah, I, those are the only ones I don't have. I have all the others. And I hope that uh, Red Wing will do another um, colorway perhaps in the future of the uh, blacksmiths because they have the charcoal rough and tough they have the hawthorn briar copper rough and tough 
and then the Black Prairie. I guess the Black Prairie was the new one that they put out, so they're probably not going to put anything out. But um, look at that. It's beautiful, isn't it? So I'm going to let these sit and then uh, dry a bit, and then we'll lace them up. Okay, so the boots have now dried, and I must say they look absolutely incredible. The uh, all-natural leather conditioner did its job, um, and like I said before, they are slightly tacky. Um, that They will remain that way uh, for a few until they completely, completely, completely dry, but just a bit uh, tacky. But I have to say... Um, they look absolutely amazing. So let's lace these back up. And I uh, can say that I'm very pleased with the, uh, the outcome. And uh, they did darken a bit, but I think that's okay because um, I'm very familiar with the, uh, this, leather, this leather conditioner, um, all natural leather conditioner. And uh, I really like what it does and how it makes it look. I, I think I may try and put this on, uh, throw it on my um, Iron Rangers, the um, 8111s and, and Amber Harness. But I think before I do that, I'll put them, I'll put it on my, actually I should do that today. I'll put it on my, um, sorry, I'm drawing a blank, my harvesters. On my Amber Harness harvesters, I think I'm going to put this, um, conditioner on there because uh, I just love the way the boot the leather looks afterwards I think it's uh, shiny looks just very healthy leather that's what it looks like the best way to put it is they just look healthy and revived. That leather's like back. Even if you had, let's say if I had worn these and beat these up pretty good and you throw this conditioner on there, it will, it will bring that boot back to life. Like with my, um, my charcoal, uh, charcoal rough and tough blacksmith that I beat up all the time. I put this on there. And um, when I showed you guys the last time, look at that. Um, that it just brings that leather. So I'm curious as I wear the 4585, which I showed you, and then as I wear these, uh, let's say in the elements, it's been raining a lot here in New York City lately, uh, wearing these in the rain, um, how that well, actually, you know what? Let's let's try this really quickly. I'm gonna get a little bit of water and let's see, because I know with mink oil, um, water will beat up. Let's see if I take a little bit of water. Just curious as to see what will happen. Take a little bit of water and drop it on here. It rolled right off. You see that? It went to the other side instead. Of the, I'll try and put it on this side here. Yeah, see it rolls right off. Pretty nice. Let me get a towel to wipe that. How about that? Rolls right off of there. <laughs> so if you do... Uh, Condition them, put them, uh, wear them out in the rain. You'll have a better protection than not uh, putting anything on there whatsoever. That rolled right off. That's what you like to see. So that your uh, boots, the leather, the boots not gonna get uh, too saturated. If you happen to be caught well, I mean, these boots are 
they're not waterproof, but they're water resistant. The leather, I should say. The leather is water resistant, not waterproof. So uh, whether you've conditioned them or not, they will have some sort of protection. Uh, but, you know, you don't want to stand in, in a river. Although I do want to do that with my engineers because those damn things are so hard. That leather is ridiculous on my the top of my foot. So I, I would like to try or stand in a bathtub or something with, with water, those engineers. All right, here you go. Look at that. The 4522 blacksmith in the briar oil slick leather. Conditioned with the all natural leather conditioner. So... I think these look absolutely amazing. And then you saw how that water just rolled right off of there. Just beautiful. All right. Thank you so much for watching and uh, we'll see you guys next time. Be a boot.